All right, so this video we're going to look at uh, converting a quadratic function to standard form, or you may have heard it called vertex form, but it's it's this form right here. This is what we're going to convert it to, and it will be in this form, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we'll convert it from this form to this form. Uh, I'm going to do three uh three examples. Each example have its own video. This is the second example and just so you can see the problems uh, this I did this problem in the first video this problem which we'll do in the second video this video here and this one uh, will be the third video okay all right and and if I was you I would I would check all of them out I try to hit everything you would come across. But let's go ahead and and look at this problem. This is the second example. So I want to convert this to standard form. So I've got f of x equals 3x squared plus 15x minus 2. So what we want to do is we have f of x equals 3x squared plus 15x. And I want to group that first part together and separate the constant term. Okay, So basically what we're going to do is complete the square on this. But remember, but remember, you cannot complete the square unless you have a 1 in front of your squared term. And you can see here we have a 3 in front. So what I need to do is I need to factor a 3 out of this part. So I'm going to need to rewrite that as f of x equals 3 times x squared plus 5x, leave a little space here, minus 2. Okay. All right, so now we're going to complete the square on this. So if you remember, you take the, the number in front of x and you half it. So half of 5, that would be what? 5 over 2. Okay. So just divide the 5 by 2. So we half the 5. And then we square it. So 5 squared is 25. 2 squared is 4. And so I add that here, the 25 over 4. And since I added 25 over 4 in here, I have to come out here and subtract 75 over 4. Okay. Now, because I added, if I add, then I have to subtract. Now, where did the 75 over 4 come from? Well, I added the 25 over 4 in here, but this is, it's not, it's not really like I'm adding 25 over 4. I'm adding 3 times 25 over 4. See, this is 3 times that. And if you do 3 times 25 over 4, well, that's 3 over 1, so that would give us the 75 over 4. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. All right, so now we have f of x is equal to, now remember, if you watch the, uh, the first video, remember this is in the form x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. It's in that form. That's what completing the square does. It makes this a perfect tr square trinomial. It puts it in this form. And that factors into x plus y all of that squared. Okay. So how do we get this? Well, the square root of this first term goes here. The square root of the last term goes here. And then this sign goes Okay, so that's going to factor. Okay. So the square root of the first term, this sign, and the square root of the last term, the square root of 25 over 4 is 5 over 2. And then that's going to be minus, what is that, 83 over 4. Okay. So how did I get that? Well, look at this. I've got negative 2 minus 75 over 4. That equals, well, what do we have to do? This is over 1. 
I've got to get a common denominator. So remember, I've got to multiply this 1 by 4 to get the common denominator, so that makes that negative 8, and this is going to stay at 75. And so that's going to give me negative 8 minus 75 is negative 83 over 4. And so this would be my answer. Okay. So give me a like, share, and subscribe. I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.